What's up, my friends? Welcome back to Swear Fo God Talk. And holy fuck is it hot. I got my jacket right here. I'm trying to look all cool and shit. I had to take that shit off. Like, fuck all that. It's like 100 something degrees. I swear to God, the Florida weather just has no mercy for a young person. Everybody's sweating. It's like a goddamn, everybody in a goddamn Gatorade commercial out here. But that's besides the point. Welcome back to Swerfo God Talk. Right now we're in episode four. It's crazy already. So in a previous episode of this series, I mentioned to be like water. And the reason why I mentioned this is because water fills up whatever it's around. Water contributes value to everything that it encompasses, right? So when people say, when people say be like water, they immediately confuse it with sit on your ass and do diddly dick. That's not what be like water means. Be like water means go contribute value to everything around you that rhymes because that's what you're supposed to do in this life nobody here to just um be here nobody here just to breathe up oxygen eat food go on tiktok scroll on tiktok beat they meat get all this fake dopamine and die that's not what life about if it if that if that's what, what you think life is about then you need to stop watching these TV shows. Stop watching all this shit that's sedating you. Watch a real nigga like myself or, an, or another real nigga YouTuber who, who on the same frequency as me. Because I got, I got, I got sweat in my eye, God damn. So as I was saying, be like water does not mean sit on your ass and wait for shit to fall in your lap. Because that's not how anybody gets it out here. People say, oh, but what about um, what about rich, rich families? What about the Rothschilds? What about the Rockefellers? Nigga, are you those people? How do you even know them people is real? Let's be real here. Have you seen any of these wealthy people that you envy so much? Have you seen any of them live life out here? Because I hope you know a lot of these people is drug addicts. A lot of these people who came, who came into wealthy families, a lot of these individuals who you think that they're just so privileged because they just grew up in all these with all these blessings for no reason, a lot of these motherfuckers is dead ass drug addicts. Want to know why? Because they got all this money, they got all this fame, they reached the end goal before they had time to earn anything, and guess what happened to them? They got fucked over. They wanted to they. They got so bored of the mundane life to where they said, you know what? Let me just fuck around and try crack. You know, I could buy it with all this money I got. I could buy crack. I could buy meth. I could buy weed. Why not just say fuck it and try all these things? I just want to feel something. I just want to feel something. So that's why they go down the slippery slope and just do all these bad things. But you look at them from the outside looking and you like, they, man, they so privileged. They so, they have everything in their favor. Guess what? It's not enough. We live in United States of A, United States of America, right? You have all these young ladies and young women out here watching murder podcasts. Now, let me tie this, let, let me tie this back into my first point. Just hear me out for a minute. You have all these young ladies listening to murder podcasts, falling in love with ten, Ted Bundy, falling in love with these serial rapists and murders, falling in love with people like uh, just all these dangerous men. You wouldn't know why that is. It's because this third world, um, this first world uh, thing we're living in is not enough. Did I say first world or third world country? Y'all know what I mean. We live in a developed, civilized society. But that's not enough. People still want more. Because y'all know the old saying, hard times create weak men and weak men create hard times. Being in a privileged country, it ain't enough. These women still want something more out here. These women, these girls still want some excitement. And sometimes only the 
only murders and serial killers are going to bring that excitement. This whole nine to five stuff, this whole going to school and, and people want to people want to live dangerously. Who could blame them? Because this society, we, we've been taught nothing but lies our whole life. Go to college, go to school. Find a find a girl. A lot of this stuff, a lot of these theories have crumbled apart and fell apart in practice because it wasn't for us. Not everybody is going to fit into the same, go into the same path. No, not one size is going to fit all out here. So you have a lot of people getting into, purposefully getting into drama, pur purposefully getting into trouble. Why? Because they want to feel something. They want to, this world has lied to them. And they want to feel something. They want to feel important. The other day, actually, fuck it, it was today. I hope y'all saw that clip of Joe Biden shitting his pants in front of live television. This nigga done shitted his pants. <laughs> I shit myself on live camera. This nigga shit himself. Dead ass. If you don't believe me, look it up. Look it up on Google. Look it up on Twitter. The nigga shit himself on live television. And they had to escort him out the building. Poop dripping down his, his pant leg. It's fucked up. And it's fucked up. And it's so upsetting when I see people really falling for all this, all this stuff. Because back to my first point of people wanting to feel important. Why do you think politics is so goddamn popular and po polarized? It's because it's nothing but glorified sports. It's sports for people who want to feel smart. It's WWE for people who want to feel like they, they know, know every fucking thing. You had uh, the report coming on with the whole fucking uh, Trump vice president. Listen, y'all got to understand. These niggas is literally created characters. These niggas, how do you even know Trump even a real person? Trump can be a goddamn cartoon character. That, that's how deep this shit is, is getting for me. Trump could be goddamn AI. That's how I see the shit. Have you seen these niggas in person? Have you ever shook hands with Trump? No, you haven't. All these niggas is created characters, man. Dead ass. Like, this whole shit is a goddamn shit show. It's, lit it's literally got a goddamn circus, my nigga. <laughs> Dead ass. So, everything out here is to make you feel. Everything out here is to keep you sedated. Everything is to keep you at the lowest possible version of yourself. And that's where the self-love comes in. Because when you love yourself, you don't need nothing around you to validate your importance. You don't need nobody around you to tell you that you were something. Because you already know you were something. It don't matter if you, you don't got a million dollars. It don't matter if you had a, quote, had a life you deemed to be inferior to other people. Because that's what they want you to think. They want you to think that you're not good enough. So you need to buy this. You need to have this degree. You need to have this job or else you're not good enough or else you um, not good enough as a person. That's the whole that's the whole matrix. I hope y'all know this. When I say escape the matrix, escape this, escape that, that means escape a lot of this stuff that we've been subconsciously inadvertently programmed with. That's the matrix. Society, whatever you want to call it, all of this shit is just to keep you at your lowest version. They don't want you to, they don't want you to look within. They don't want you to look. Um, they don't want you to find your purpose. They want you to rely on everything around you to bring you happiness. That's that's the whole game. That's the whole that's the society we live in. They don't want you to look within. They want you to look at the media. They want you to look at Trump. They want you to look at radical left, radical left Joe Biden. They want you to look at um, Joe Biden shitting his pants on TV. Joe Joe Biden uh, not knowing how to, not knowing the ABCs. They want you to look at uh, who's that third guy? Uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. They want you to look at all these motherfuckers, so you don't look within. With that being said, y'all, take care of yourselves, man.
It's about to be a hot ass summer. I hope y'all niggas get y'all umbrellas. Cause it's gonna get hot. It's gonna get hot. Nigga, let's go. Take care of yourselves, man. I'm out this mug.